After Virginia's deadly shooting last week, Governor Ralph Northam is set to challenge Republican leaders to implement new state gun laws. The weapon used in the Orlando shootings is at once one of the most popular and most reviled weapons in America, the AR-15. I voted to ban a, a semi-automatic assault weapons. This is a ghost gun. This right here has ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. You know, that's bullshit. So I talked quite a bit about the gun ban in Canada, but today I'm going to talk about mass shootings, specifically about the half-truth and outright lies I hear about them parroted so often. I'll start by asking a simple question. You must have heard many, many, many times the US has hundreds of mass shootings, which is technically true. But which ones are the ones that you actually hear about? I'll leave you a few seconds to think about it. If you haven't heard school, Walmart, or really any kind of public place where people get indiscriminately gunned down, you are correct. And that is where the first lie, well, lies. The media, politicians, and activists talking about mass shootings only when one happens in a school, a big brand store, etc., is purposefully to manipulate people into thinking every single year there are 300 of these massacres killing dozens of people every single time. Except, of course, there's only about a dozen of these every single year. For example, how many killings committed by a Jorendo happened in 2019, would you say? The answer to that is 11. Everything else has been committed by gangs doing these. The 1930s gangsters were so classy. But anyway, you see what is getting lumped in by the media and activists to make it look like the US has an army of deranged people doing nothing but gearing up for the Walmart whaling season. That the US has hundreds of crazies ready to shoot little Susie. That Susie is not safe anywhere she is. And so the left, ever so concerned about people's safety, just don't look at the 100 plus million dead, will take it upon itself to confiscate the property of every law-abiding citizen. That's how Australia got their mandatory buyback program after the massacre at Port Arthur, where a lunatic killed 35 people and a very popular claim from groups like Poly Members, Poly se souvient en bon François, is that there has been no mass shooting since then, which is a big fat lie at the very best. More specifically, these groups and the media love to change definition whenever it suits the needs. So sometimes they will be using 10 people, sometimes 6, sometimes multiple dozens. Really, any number allowing them to claim no mass shooting has ever happened after one of the gun bans they so desperately want. However, if you use a definition from the United States Congress, that being three or more slain, killer excluded, you get a very, very different picture. The gun ban was put in place in 1996, so starting from there, the rights in Bicky Murder, 1999, three dead, Oakhampton Heights shooting, 2005, four dead, Hectorville Siege, 2011, three dead, Hunt Family Murder, 2014, five dead, Weatherburn shooting, 2014, three dead, Osmington shooting, 2018, seven dead, Darwin shooting, 2019, four dead. New Zealand did the same thing after the attack on the two mosques, of course, making no mention that the shooter stopped at the second mosque because one of the attendees returned fire, and now it is enjoying the highest level of gun homicides in a decade. Obviously, the anti-gun will try moving the goalposts to other places like Japan, which concentrates a lot of the things that anti-gun demand, including insane amount of red tapes and no semi-automatics, yet had the Abikino shooting in 2010, and whether the government likes it or not, 
even in Japan, people will find ways to make gun. Such as this retiree who assembled a lot of interesting pieces and made the barrels out of anvils. A good example to the opposite is Switzerland, which has one of the highest gun ownership rates in Europe, despite the European Union trying to force them into submission, and also one of the lowest homicides rates in the world. Some will be quick to point at the mandatory military service, but if you know anything about Switzerland, then you probably also know that this service has not been mandatory for years. Finland, home of the Finnish Brutality to Gun Action match, is also a good example considering that it's one of the mythical Scandinavian countries the left love so much, but it has assault weapons and has also no limitation on the magazine capacity. And no particular difficulty either with guns. Another favorite of activists is that the R-15 and the other quote-unquote military-style assault weapons are constantly used in these mass shootings. Now, if you remember what I said in the beginning, and this ridiculous video after Columbine, your brain should go, I don't really see gangs with rifles. And you'd be correct. After all, a rifle is not something easily concealed, even a ball pop. Especially when you wear your pants on your knees. But if you check on a database such as the Mother Jones shooting database, you will realize that the R-15 is very rarely used. In fact, since 1982, it has been used a grand total of 13 times. And I am counting all of the derivatives that I can find inside of the list, that is XM15, MP15, AR15, etc. I'm not counting the Orlando shooting, considering it was a terrorist attack by an Islamist. And on the AR-15 specifically, I would remind you that this thing is the most popular rifle in the US. There is literally one and a half million of these rifles sold every single year in the US, and there's about 10 to 20 million of them in total in the country. And I don't think I'm going to teach that to many of you, but the place where most of these shootings happen are actually gun-free zones, which is kind of stupid, because as you can see in the video just there, having some civilians with a concealed weapon is pretty much the best way of shooting a shooter in his tracks. As I like to say, it does you no good to wait for the cops for 10 minutes when you got 10 seconds to live. So journalists, politicians and activists are always up in arms, just not assault ones, <laughs> trying to work the population into a frenzy, an easy appeal to emotion for whatever political gains they may hope to make. But as I want to give gun control and concealed carry their own videos, I will stop here for today. If you enjoyed my little expose on mass shootings, please like, subscribe, click the bell, and I'll be going at it next Sunday. If you have anything you'd like to see covered, please as well leave a comment. Salut bonsoir!